Hi guys, Steve and John from the Sword Fighting School. Last week we did a workshop on how using your shoulder is going to affect the cuts with your long sword. We are now going to be transitioning back into the cutlass for this one. Now our shoulder is going to come more into play because this is a one-handed weapon that it's important to remember we are not fencing. A couple of weeks ago we talked about how this kind of fight is distinctly different than fencing. And so in this one we are going to be using our shoulder but not for power because I, that'll still affect the way my sword flows. But now I'm going to be swinging this sword kind of like a cross between a sword and an axe. And I say that because I'm chopping with this weapon. I am not slicing with this weapon until I do. There you go. Ready. So we're going to break this into a couple different parts. The first part is going to be done with the cutlass by itself. We're going to learn a sequence. Then we're going to change that sequence a little bit and we're going to add a knife. So we're going to progress through these two different actions. Sword alone, and then sword and knife. All right, let's go have some fun. All right. So the initial cuts, let's just review those real quick. A one is a descending cut from your right side to your left side. Two is a descending cut from your left side to your right side. Three is an ascending cut from your right side to your left side. Four is an ascending cut from your left side to your right side. Five is a horizontal cut from your right to left. Six is a horizontal from your left to your right. Seven is straight down. Primarily, our attacks are going to be one, two, and seven. Those are going to be our primary attacks. So go ahead and do that. One, two, seven. Now, with that being said, do you notice how John cut through? If I put my sword in the way, go ahead and do that again. Give me a one. And he cuts all the way through. I'm just going to snap, snap him in the face. This is where it gets to be more of a chopping weapon. So he does one. I capture that. He just pulls back and does a two to my arm. So there's no follow through on it. So this is where we're going to be chopping with our sword. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Remember, the odd numbers come from your right side. The even numbers come from your left side. This sequence is going to be with, starting with a two. So he gives me a two. Then he pulls back and gives me a one because I've overturned to defend this. So do it again. One, two, one. And it's just a little bit too late. My defense is going to be a hanging parry on my left side. So two, one, and I'm stepping out towards my right. Then I'm just going to cut from here straight down to his head. Let's do that again. One, two. Um, you'll notice on that one, I'm leaving it here so it slides down over my arm. My hand is here, but it's as if I've got another weapon. So this will come into play later. So again. Now, what you just saw John do was cut all the way through. If he does that, go ahead and do that again. I'm just going to cut him in the side of the head. So he can't afford to do that. So it's going to be chop, two, one. And that's all the time I've got for my defense. Go ahead and do that again. And then I cut into his head. He doesn't want to get cut in the head, I'm guessing. I'll check. Do you want to get cut in the head? I do not want to get okay, cut in the head. Okay, just wanted to check. <laughs> so you. he's going to parry with a slap parry four, which is uh, do a slap parry four, the flat, and just coming from ascending from the left side to the right side just to slap my attack out of the way. If we take this to side sword, this would be the equivalent of a falso manco. But now instead of doing it with our false edge, 
we're doing it with a slap just to clear space. So let's do that again. It'll be two, one. Slap. And then that gives him my, my uh, jaw for a punch. And this is important. He could hit me with his sword, but he's not going to. Why? My sword's still moving. Right? So he's using the momentum of his sword, pulling his body back to just line that in. That can be a punch. That could be a knife. It could be a tomahawk. It's your choice. So let's do that again. Uh, And then they're cut to the back of my head for seven. Go ahead and finish it. Yes, sir. <clears throat> and that punch is just to throw me off so he can easily make the strike easier. Let's switch sides. Okay. So now, like him earlier, I would rather not get cut in the head. I know, I know, silly, huh. but... He throws his attack. Cover, cover, elbow. Then from here, my hand's gonna come up. I'm gonna grasp his wrist. I'm just gonna pull him into my slice as I go past. Dude. It's all good. Hey, do you know what the word is? Burr. The word is burr. Burr, burr, burr. Burr is the word. Is burr the word? Burr is the word. All right, so let's do it again. And then I'm on to the next guy. Most of the people that were fighting on board ship came from a, if you're seamen like this, you came from a, most likely a very rough background. These guys knew how to fight. So they're going to know what it's like to be in these altercations. He's going to know what to do. What he's going to do this time is he's going to, Feel that my cover with my elbow, the grab. He's not going to wait for me to pull his arm. He's going to extend his arm. I know it sounds weird, but by extending his arm, he takes the initiative away from me. If you've done medieval sword work, this is Postalonga from the, res the grappling section of Fior de la Berry. Because here, to yep. extension line. And there's... Fjords. Yeah. So really similar stuff. So let's do it again. He attacks. I cover. He sets that aside. I go here. Now, if I pull him, watch his shoulder. You can see how much control I have. Go ahead and punch me again. But now, as soon as I cover that, extend it out. And that just throws me off balance. So let's go through that whole sequence. Okay. And now, when you're doing this, super important, do not overextend your arm because your elbow is going on his shoulder and he's still got a hand on you. If you overextend, you put your elbow at risk. So it's important that you don't overextend. Let's go and do it again. And there again is the back of my head. I'd rather not die today. So. Guess it's going to be me. This is going to be the end of this sequence. Because, you know, it's good to be the king. So he throws his attack. Oh. <laughs> Turn. This is to get his attention. Then I'm just going to come out and drive it through him. Oh. You all right? Yep, just <laughs> fine. Oh, this reminds me of something we did last time. <laughs> Get, let's give him just a moment. I'm good. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> so what I've got to do is I've got to get under that attack that's coming. And the attack is not with his sword. It's with his shoulder. The only way I can avoid that is to duck. But because I'm down here and I'm leaning into him, I've got that little elbow strike to the groin. Just a little elbow strike. 
So, ready? Re <laughs> ready. Oh, there it is, right there. And then he's still going forward, right? I might even just throw him over, or from here, just stand up. Because he is gonna lean on me after I elbow him in the Oh groin. yeah. And he is gonna be thinking about something else. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's switch sides and do it one more time. And then we're gonna move on to the next sequence. Thank you. You good? Good. All right. Okay, good. Now, let's add Ooh. knives to that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. Same thing comes in. There's that right there. He comes through, I elbow, turn with me. Oh boy. That's why I hook oh. the leg and slice the inside of the knee. And then just for good measure, as I go past, I snap him one more time right between the legs. <laughs> just to make sure. Doesn't need to be a lot with the point of the sword when you hit him, but it'll do the job. You know, do you ever just question your choice of employment All sometimes? The <laughs> Time. So, ready? He still can't quit though. He comes in. I cover. Now, do this suit again. Sure. Look how I'm stepping into it. Right? If he doesn't do anything, there's my next action. And I'm just slicing that wrist. He's done fighting me with that hand. But because he goes straight to his one, that doesn't work. So I go there. Then as I cut back, he comes at me to stab me and ruins my day. I dislike being stabbed in the neck. So he attacks. He comes through, I duck, hit, hook the leg, snap him in the groin one more time and move on. Very reminiscent. <laughs> But, what if he doesn't, uh, doesn't pull back or cut all the way through on that cut one? Let's do that again. Okay. He's here. He goes here. Now, he just pulls this back and stabs me. I've just got a cover there. So let's do that again. Then I drive it into his ribs. Here. Good? Good. Let's do it again. This is now a slap with a five. That's all I'm doing. Excuse me, it's a six, not a five, because I'm coming from my left to my right. So it's a slap parry for, with a six. Again. To stick him. My guess is he doesn't want to be stabbed in the side. I do not. I'm, it was a lucky guess. Smart. So he comes through and he does that. And I cover. I cover. He parries that. Now what he's going to do is he's just going to lift up his elbow. Hook my elbow with his knife and slice. And look how that just leaves his sword right in, right in line. Trying to put it beside you. Let's do that again. You okay? Yeah, yeah, you missed me. You got my shirt. Good, good, good. And it just stays right there. So let's do it one more time, then we'll switch sides. Yes, sir. Cool. Let's switch sides. Ready? Ready. Cool. One more time. 
<laughs> and I died. And that's what happens if you start thinking in the fight. Let's do that again. <laughs> Good. I don't want that to happen. Oh, boy. So this is going to be my counter, and this is what we're going to close up on today. So he attacks. He attacks. He stabs. I go through here. He goes for my arm. As he's going for my arm, I'm just going to pull back, drive my pummel of my knife into his throat as I stab him in the belly, the leg, the groin, whatever I can get. All right, let's do it one more time. Yes, sir. And I did that wrong. Yeah, that, so this is something to be aware of. That knife comes in so fast. And I'm just pu pushing this out of the way, or pulling my arm out of the way so I can drive up. And all that is is I'm standing up onto my toes. Hold up your hand. Here. Hold up your hand. Nope, not there. Just there. Right there? Yeah. So I'm here. Uh, That's yeah. all I'm doing. And I'm putting the pommel of my knife right into the base of his jaw. That's my goal. A lot of these knives at this period in time were similar to a plug bayonet. And what's a plug bayonet look like? A plug bayonet looks like a triangle, but it's got a tube yeah. for the handle there. That narrows. So yeah. it almost comes today what we would call a skull crusher on the back of a uh, yeah. regular pocket knife. And here's a picture of a plug bayonet. You can see the shape of the handle as well as the way it tapers so that it would fit into the barrel of the gun. So now that you've seen the picture of the plug bayonet, imagine having just that drive up underneath your jaw. It's going to hurt. It's going to throw back your head. It's going to disrupt your balance. It's going to give, your, give me an opportunity to do something. So one more time. And then stick them. So with that, we're going to stop. I think I've abused him enough, at least for now. If you would like to see more abuse, no, let's not do that. <laughs> You're welcome. So what did you learn today? Um, <clears throat> habit, right? Doesn't matter what it is there right now. When I pick up something that has the equivalent look of a sword, I go to a completed cut. But in this scrimmage, in this fight here right now, you cannot. You do not have the time. You right. need to hit them fast, hit them hard, and move on. Whether they are dead, it doesn't matter. If I have thrown a disabling blow upon them, it's enough for me to move past and leaves him for somebody else to deal with. Right. Especially and, if I'm the front position. Yeah. There. There's no fencing in this kind of fight. Yeah. This is get in close, get in viciously, and get past. And it is not fencing. This is fighting. But it's still trained responses. If I feel something's not there, I'm going to have to move with it. And that's something I want you to take as you're practicing this. When you feel something's not there, you don't move against the action, you move with the action. Let me explain that. Let's do it again real slow. He throws that cut. He hits there. He knows he's not going to get through me. So he leaves my sword. As soon as I feel that, I know he's coming to this side. I don't know where, so I'm going to cover as much as possible. And then I'm going to hit him in the head. But he knows because I'm here, that's all I can do. And he doesn't have time to block me. It's never going to work with his knife. Mm -hmm. But he can slap aside my sword and then just come through and do his next thing. So we are not going against their power. As soon as we realize that they are no longer there, we move with them. Mm -hmm. And again, we're trying to get to that side. It doesn't matter if it's on a ship, if it's on land. In a fight like this, your best place is to be on the other side because that puts you behind them. If 
you are attacked in the street, most likely not with a cutlass and a knife, granted. But if you are attacked in the street, the best thing you can do is run away. However, the best way to run away is the direction you are already, already facing. Don't turn around and go backwards because now you've given them your back. So that's how modern day safety is very similar to these medieval Renaissance and 18th century fights. I need to go in the direction I'm already facing. I cannot go backwards. Yeah. If you liked what you saw today, please hit the subscription button as well as the notification button. We put out lots of videos. I hope you enjoy them all. Thank you for joining us today. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe, and we'll see you at the next video. Thanks for joining us today. Boom.